My name is Marcus Smith. I am the creative director of Sunset Overdrive from Insomniac Games. Well, originally my, my partner in crime, Drew Murray and I, he's the uh, game director and I'm the creative director, we, we sat around at lunch and we said, what would happen if somebody just gave us a ton of money to make a game? Like, that's never going to happen, so let's just laugh about it. And we started coming up with this idea. At the time, it was very sort of straightforward, zombie apocalypse sort of open world. We used to say you'd, you'd scavenge by day, defend by night. And after a little bit of time, we were like, well, it's sort of derivative. We're starting to see a lot more of those games. This was many years ago now. And so we said, well, how could we twist it? And one of the things that we noticed was, like, when the character Jim from um, 28 Days Later is walking around the empty streets of London, or, like, when Will Smith's hitting the golf balls off the aircraft carrier, or Charlton Heston's driving a giant boat of a car around the empty streets of L.A., like, that looks awesome. I would totally love to do that. And so that's where the premise came from was, if they're trying to sell the end times as a bad thing, they're not really selling it to me. That looks awesome. Like, I was imagining no bills, no boss. Like, I don't have to go to work anymore. This is cool. Bring on the end times. Let's do this. And so that was the idea was it was sort of what can we do with a character like that and, and sort of what would Iggy Pop be like if he was the last human being on Earth. And so it became a, a like like a style over survival kind of thing and turning the, the end times on its ear. And that's, that's where the idea kind of stemmed from. Okay. Yeah. Is, is Iggy Pop a character? He's yeah. not. You know what? We totally should have done that. Voices. Totally should have done it's, it. That could be a DLC later on. Right? Yeah, exactly. Like the, but the, but the like Iggy young Pop. Iggy Pop. Yeah, yeah. Now oh, he's like... No, like, it, he's still pretty fucking cool. <laughs> I'm pretty sure he'll survive the end times just fine. He, well, that, he looks it. That's the idea. I mean, the yeah, idea, yeah. everyone always says there's like two things that will survive the apocalypse, cockroaches and Iggy Pop. Yeah, right. Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> Everybody does say that, don't they? It's a weird thing. Well, oh, that's right. Keith Richards as well. There are three. <laughs> right, exactly. He'll definitely survive. Pickle. So, so let's talk about the, the villains in, in the game. Like yes. The zombies and the monsters. Like, sure. Talk a bit about that. Like, what was the design and the figure behind that? Well, one of the things that we wanted to do was instead of just a straight-up zombie apocalypse, it's mutants. And why that was important was both thematically, because the idea of the end times coming about was always like there's a military experimentation or, or like alien invasion or something. And we were like, that's not how the world's going to end. The world's going to end by somebody making a mistake, a human being doing human being things and then magnified through like something that only a really, really powerful entity could do, which is major corporation. So this corporation makes this horrific mistake, turns everybody into mutants, and that allowed us to not only sort of thematically tie it into this consumerism, but we, we could also make mutants that had different abilities. So we have, we have different mutants that will like, you know, uh, they'll, they'll ice up your traversal paths to knock you off your traversal or guys that are, are uh, mutated around digger arms that can build up, that pick up chunks of the tarmac and toss it at you. You know, it, it allowed us a lot more freedom to be creative with the enemies than if they were just zombies. Yeah. What's the most terrifying one? Uh, well, we have a few terrifying ones. I, I think the Herker's pretty good because he comes at you, but there's there's a creature we call Spawner that has a, a, a garbage dumpster mutated around him that spawns more ODs, and he's incredibly tough. He'll come at you in addition to spewing out these other enemies. So he's pretty tough in my mind.